So I have a few old videos on the channel and I wanted to cover a topic uh, that I, it, it becomes quite important because people are still uh, watching those videos and um, on some new videos I mentioned this point but um, uh, on those ones uh, I kind of uh, didn't realize the importance of it and now I think it's the time to do a, a specific video regarding. So what is about is the flash, the internal flash on the camera, on some cameras, because um, some they do have some other, some more, um, some more professional cameras they don't have built built-in flash. So. Uh, on those that they do have flash, you have to discharge the flash before touching any electronics or maybe like try to uh, disconnect the minimum possible to reach the capacitor. So this is the first step that we need to do beside the other step that I mentioned that you have to disconnect the battery from the camera, you have to make sure you uh, pull out the memory from the card. But this step it's quite, it becomes quite important because once you open the camera you need to uh, discharge the capacitor otherwise there's a risk you know especially for those that they, they might not know there is a charged capacitor inside the, the camera and that might raise a risk of damaging the camera instead of fixing trying to fix whatever is the main reason for opening the camera. So in this particular video, specifically for the flash, I'm going to show you how to discharge the flash, how to reach. At least I have my workforce camera. Apparently I have, uh, I, I'm, I'm working quite a lot of, of this model. So I have my, my sample here to show you how to discharge the capacitor. And uh, it's easy, uh, at least, uh, one thing that I love on Canon, Canons, and I always mention this this uh, brand, is the simplicity of the engineering and uh, the way they are are building things in order to be uh, serviced. And basically, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna just uh, take out, open uh, this camera, and just reach the capacitor. So before, the reason I wasn't mentioning uh, anything is because I was having a capacitor discharger which is this and obviously this is even even riskier for those that they don't have any kind of experience with, uh, uh, with electricity. Uh, so I didn't want to mention this for a proper video. Instead now I have something way way better and actually it's new in my uh, collecting in, in, in the collection of uh, tools we're gonna see later once uh, we reach the point Don't mix the screws as I do, unless you know which screw where it goes, because otherwise you're going to make a mess. Uh, I open up this camera for so many times that I already know the, uh, the each screw where it, where it goes. By the way, this connector, it's really bad position. You can see there are other videos on, uh, on this model. Um, that are more accurate than this. So, unfortunately, I need to op touch some connectors, but the only tool I recommend is this one. It's a plastic tool, and each and every time you disconnect uh, connectors, use this one. Don't use a metal, metallic tweezers or, or whatever screwdriver when you do uh, things around. Um, so always, I always recommend to use a, um, a plastic tool for disconnecting things. 
I'm going to take these screws away. Actually, there's no need to disconnect this, and just this one. By the way, don't do not take this video as a sequence of disassembling the camera. I'm just uh, disassemble everything, and I don't use a, a proper se sequence. Uh, use other videos. I already had some other videos for for this model. Use other videos that um, shows uh, follows the proper sequence. Okay, so each camera has its own, uh, uh, obviously, has its own design and the capacitor before you open the camera or before you, uh, you yeah, you definitely need to prepare yourself to uh, understand a little bit of uh, how the camera, it's, um, it's, it gets disassembled. Uh, but even before that, you need to understand. You need to understand where the capacitor is positioned. Usually, the capacitor is close to the power board, um, or otherwise, on some other models, uh, there are different uh, circuit, circuit power circuit, bo circuit boards. For example, this one. This is uh, for uh, from a, a Canon 7D. And this is uh, on on those models beside the power board that usually stays on the top right position, like top right position, as as uh, in this uh, configuration. This stays somewhere in on, on the bottom on the camera, and this is the capacitor. And uh, on this model, and also a nice thing that Canon did it mentioned the position where to actually it says on the on the circuit board if my camera a focus so it says discharge so it says here discharge so we have two discharging points uh, one is here and the other one is here basically it shows this line here uh, and this is one point this is another point you just put your probes the not just put the probes alone, we're going to learn that uh, later on, uh, and that will discharge the capacitor. If I was about to use this one, I will have um, create, um, I might have create a, a spark on, of which I don't want to share with you this kind of uh, work on, on the channel. I want to share something that you can feel confident and not put anything yourself or maybe the camera at risk. So let's reach the, the point where this camera has the capacitor. Right, so it's the, this one. Uh, as you can see, Canon, they also try to protect, like cover the, the, the pins of the capacitor in order for the whoever opens the camera to not touch touch it by mistake so at this point next i will show you the tool okay so maybe i need to warn you don't touch this point because it's uh, it's um it's charged don't touch with anything uh else that then what you need to um to discharge it uh, first to the with the probes so I'm gonna I want to show you that it it is charged. Let's see, let's measure the, the voltage. Use my multimeter. It must be DC when you put your multimeter. Let me see if there is a point. Yeah, there is a point here. Right. So this line with this this line here with the minus sign is the negative, but in the end doesn't matter because you're gonna just discharge it. I just want to show you um, 
Uh, this has 265 volts, so it's quite powerful. Quite, quite a lot of power um, stored inside this tiny capacitor. This, you can get a shock from it. If you touch it, you're gonna get a shock. But uh, um, other than that, which is already uh, uh, something, you're not gonna die, obviously. You, I never heard someone dying from such a, a small uh, capacitor because this, uh, um, it holds a very tiny amount of uh, voltage, but it's enough to get a shock or enough to damage your camera. That, that's, that's the second risk. So, let's put this, so this is the tool that discharges. Um, nothing, fa nothing fancy, it just has a, 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 volt, a voltmeter and it will do the job. Uh, probably, I don't know if this, uh, on some capacitors, if there is a lot, a lot of power, the, the voltage will come on, otherwise on some other occasions it will not come on at all. But let's see. It, can, it is on. Let me see if I can do this way. In the way that I can show you the voltage is dropping. Yep, and that's off. Now there is no voltage. There was for a split second there was some uh, showing some numbers. And now let me put this again. I will show you that there is no voltage at all left inside this capacitor. Uh, the best signs. One thing I I tend to do. I don't recommend it, but I tend to do. You must be 100% uh, sure So you must be 100% sure there is no voltage left So this shows 9 volts, there's still 9 volts So 9 volts I can do Let me show you Still, you must be very cautious here What I can do because 9 volts, 9 volts is not that dramatic. It says 9 volts. I can short the terminals. Oops. And this now is 0. It will be 0. Well, it's the capacitor, the, um, the multimeter is charging the capacitor, but I will put it on 0. I'm just going to make a short basically, create a bridge between the two terminals to make sure I have no voltage left, this is so zero and now I can disconnect it and I know for sure there is no voltage uh, no voltage left inside the capacitor so I can uh, I can move on doing my work, whatever work you you need to do uh, and um, yeah this is the proper way to discharge the capacitor and before starting doing, as I already mentioned, before starting doing anything else on the camera, you must dis discharge the capacitor first in order to be able to safely move, move on and disconnect other circuit boards. And uh, yeah, this is my tip for today.